Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Mass channel. Today I'm presenting a lecture on how to use our magic reasoning or our power of observation in order to solve any problem we can face in the world. In this episode, I'm presenting three puzzles to which I'm applying my power of observation in order to reach the answer. Let's look at the first puzzle. In the first puzzle, we must find the missing digit. I want to tell you something important. When you have complete, use the complete to reach the missing. How come? Let's look at this big box. We have a big box. The big box includes smaller boxes inside. All boxes are complete except for one box. Here we will use the complete boxes in order to reach or, or in order to know what is the missing digit. Okay, let's look at the complete boxes. Look at the first row. The first row has four boxes. All boxes in the first row are complete. So we can know the rule which we can apply to this puzzle. Okay. In the first row, we have four boxes. In the first box, we have nine. In the second box, we have four. In the third box, we have nine. In the result box, we have 85. Here, we want to use the first box, the second box, the third box, in order to reach the result box, I mean 85. So, what if we multiply the first box by the third box? So we multiply 9 by 9. 9 by 9 equals 81. Okay? 81. What if we add the second box to 81? So we get 85. So we have used the complete boxes in order to reach the answer. So, the rule here states that we multiply the first box by the third box, then we add the second box in order to get the result box. So, here we can reach the answer. We have the first box, 9, the third box, 5, and we want to reach the result box, I mean 50. So, we will multiply the first box by the third box. When we multiply 9 by 5, we get 45. So we need to add a digit or a number to 45 in order to get 50. What is this missing digit? We add 5 in order to get 50. So the missing digit is 5. So we can use the complete in order to reach the missing. Okay, let's look at the second puzzle. In the second puzzle, we have a shape. We have arrows. We have two arrows here. Okay, two intersectional arrows. We must look at the complete arrow in order to get the missing digit in the second arrow. Okay, let's look. In this arrow, we have two numbers. We have 56 at the beginning of the arrow and 7 at the end of the arrow. In the second arrow, we have 64, but we have a missing digit or a missing number. So here we will use the complete arrow or the complete digits in the arrow in order to reach the missing digit in the other arrow. Okay, so we can use the complete in order to use the missing. Look at the complete arrow. We have 56 at the beginning. We have 7 at the end. 7 here means a result. Okay, so we can divide 56 by a digit in order to reach 7. So we divide 56 by 8 in order to reach 7. 
So the missing digit here is eight, okay? So when we divide 64 by eight, we can get, or we sure get eight. So here we can use the complete in order to reach the missing. Let's look at the third puzzle in which we are required to use our power of observation or our magic reasoning in order to reach the answer. Emil has four. Emil has four. But Afibil has six. Oh, what is it? Please use your power of observation here. Uh, a male has four, but a female has six. It's a trick. If you use your power of observation, you can find the answer. I will help you. A male has four, but a female has six. What is it? Our power of observation will lead us to the weird male and to the weird female. Count the letters found in the word male. In the word male, we have one, two, three, four. We have four letters. Okay? In the word female, we count the letters one, two, three, four, five, six. So the word female has six letters. So the trick here is in the word or in is in the letters found in each word. Okay? Let's look at the next example. But here you must use your magic reasoning, your power of observation in order to reach the answer. How many states are there in the United States of America and India? Uh, use your power of observation. How many states are there in the United States of America and India. If you use your power of observation here, you will know that it is not the number of states which is required. Oh, what is required then? What is required is the word itself. How many states, I mean, how many words, how many words which is titled states are found here in this question? If you count the word states in this question, you will find that how many states are there in the United States of America and India, you will find that we have only one word which is entitled states. So the answer is one, because I'm asking about the word states and not about the count or the number of states in America. If you are watching my channel for the first time, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.